Yo, what is good YouTube? Krishan checking back in with another video. Let's start today's video off with a recent update from Rafa Brandau at about one week out from the Arnold Classic. And I would say without a doubt, this is one of the most impressive physique updates I've ever seen from Rafa. And honestly, during Rafa's entire prep, he's been posting very impressive updates. So let's hope him and Neil Hill are able to land the plane at this year's Arnold Classic. And Rafa said this is after five days of low carbs. He's flat and starting to get a little bit soft. But if this is a flat version of Rafa Brandeo, we're definitely in for a great show next week. But I do want to mention just one thing. We usually see a most muscular shot of front last spread from Rafa. He looks great in those shots. Great from the front. Very impressive. Very aesthetic physique. But I'm interested to see how is he going to stack up in the back shots. We haven't really seen as many back poses and side poses as the front poses. Just a thought. And let's switch over to Marcelo DeAngelis, Horse MD, who recently posted up some impressive updates at about one week out. Marcelo is massive. Conditioning looks pretty good in one week out. Not the best, but he's not soft by any means. And we still have about one week to go into the show. And in case you guys think I'm being a little bit harsh on Marcelo about conditioning, it's because I'm comparing his conditioning to Heidi Chupin and James Hollingshead, who are two guys he's going to be competing against very soon. But I think Horse MD will be in the top five of this Arnold Classic, and in my personal opinion, he will place fourth at worst. But let me know in the comment section below, how do you guys think he will place? Because looking at these recent updates, can we make the question of will he place top three at this show? And let's switch over to the most recent updates of James Hollingshead, also in one week out. And if you asked me yesterday, I would probably say that between Rafa, James, and Horse MD, those guys can pretty much change places at this year's Arnold Classic. But looking at today's updates of Rafa, Horse, and James Hollingshead, I think that Rafa and Horse MD have moved ahead of James Hollingshead on my prediction list. But let's remember these are only physique updates. These guys have to bring it to the stage. And there's no telling what's going to happen in about one week. And just to explain to you guys what I'm thinking right now, between James, Rafa, and Horse, I think that James Hollingshead is not as aesthetic as Rafa, and he's not as big as Horse MD, so he could run into a little bit of trouble at this show. But then again, guys, that's all based on physique updates. And in the next update of the day, we have a recent update from the mutant Nick Walker ahead of the New York Pro. And Nick Walker actually hashtagged this image, hunting season, which is something Tonio Burton usually says. So maybe Nick took a slight shot at Tonio, but it's all friendly. Nick Walker looks pretty good in this update, and he's still top heavy, of course. Nick suffered that hamstring injury, and it did slow down his leg progression, at least to some extent. But unless we see a top five Olympian jump into the New York Pro lineup, I do believe Nick Walker will win this show and head to the Mr. Olympia. The New York Pro should be a pretty good show, but Nick Walker's past two shows, he placed second at the Arnold Classic and he placed third at the Mr. Olympia. He is still one of the best bodybuilders in the sport. As far as the quads go, the real comparison would be the next time he stands next to Samson Dowda. Now, speaking of Tonio Burton, he recently posted up an update, and I really like how Tonio isn't backing down from the challenge of Nick Walker. He's actually feeding into it. A lot of people would see Nick hopping into the show, and may choose to not do that one and jump into the next one. And as of right now, we are mostly talking about Nick Walker and Tonio going into New York. But I've heard rumors of Carlos Thomas Jr., Rubiel, Rafa Brandeo also hopping into this show. So there's no telling how it's actually going to end up turning out. But it's going to be a great show. Now let's switch over to Carlos Thomas Jr. This update was actually posted up by the Mr. Olympia Instagram page. Carlos is about 50 days out from competing. Now, he could be competing in the Arnold Classic South America, or he could be competing in the Detroit Pro, or maybe even both. That would actually be pretty great. But I actually talked about this in the last Carlos Thomas update. Carlos looks great. The quads are just unbelievable. This guy's shoulder to waist to quad ratio is just insane. Carlos still needs to bring the back up. It looks like he's leaning back a little bit more, which makes his back look slightly better. But a back is a hard body part to bring up, so it's going to take a little bit of time. And at about seven weeks out, the conditioning of Carlos Thomas looks OK. Personally, I would like to see him step on the gas a little bit more. Carlos has struggled with conditioning in the past, 
So I would like to see him get ready maybe two or three weeks early. Now let's switch over to Classic Physique. We have a recent update from Michael DeBull, who looks very, very impressive. Michael is currently the sixth best Classic Physique guy on the planet, and I think he's going into this Arnold Classic looking to get a great placing. He's probably looking to win the entire show, in all honesty. And I always said if the Classic Physique guys ever got another boost in the weight cap, Michael would be one of the guys to benefit the most, and I think that definitely holds true. This guy is going to be tough to beat. Now let's switch over to Wesley Vissers. Michael DeBull was 6th at the Mr. Olympia and Wesley Vissers was 7th place. I believe we're going to have a very tough fight in the Classic Physique division between 3rd to 5th place. Wesley, Michael, Breon Ainsley. Looking at all these guys going into the show, I almost feel like those placings can flip-flop. You guys let me know in the comment section below. What do you think about that? Wesley Vissers has one of the best upper bodies in the Classic Physique division. The only thing that really holds him back is the lower body. And we have seen a few lower body updates from Wesley, but not a ton, which worries me a little bit. But I'm rooting for Wesley going into this show. Now let's switch over to the Black Swan, Breon Ainsley. And as we get closer to the show, the better Breon Ainsley looks. And Breon always brings the conditioning, a great posing routine, the most maturity. He has crazy arms, probably still has the best back in the division, but Wesley Vissers, He's up there as well. The same thing as I said about Wesley, the question with Breon is just going to be the legs. But let me know in the comment section below, where do you guys currently stand as far as your classic physique predictions between Breon, Wesley, and Michael DeBoer? Breon should place third, Michael should place fourth, and Wesley Visser should place fifth. Unless one of those guys decide to upset Urs Kalasinski and Ramon Dino. But let me know what you guys think. And let's go ahead and wrap up today's video here with the archive of the day. You guys let me know in the comment section below who is this bodybuilder. And as always, I hope you guys did indeed enjoy this video. And if you haven't done so already, be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. My Arnold Classic predictions should be coming out very, very soon. I'm Christian from Go Fitness and that's it. I'm out.